Hey everyone, and welcome back to Oak Street City Zoo. Yeah, we are in the next episode, and um, <laughs> uh, actually, I have no clue what I'm doing today, so you guys are a lot better prepared than I am right now. You can see that I have redone a little bit of the entrance area here to, um, yeah, just do it a bit nicer, just to have like a bit of a nicer entrance in terms of um, how the guests are spread and stuff. And in general, this will be a little bit of a point and while I'm just going to re redo my uh, microphone a little bit. I also um, have changed a bit of the employee situation. I did employ a few more mechanics because as you can also see from that one, oh, actually it is repaired, but we were actually a little bit uh, uh, having some issues with um, some barriers being very, very bad conditioned or in a very bad condition. Uh, last time, for those of you who haven't seen, we did this wonderful Bengal tiger habitat and I have downloaded again a whole bunch of uh, new walls that you guys provided. Um, also, while we have some low welfare going on here, what's the issue? Is it stress? It is stress indeed. Um, is it also because, well, they don't really have that much space, but um, the most significant issue is the stress factor. I guess because it's also pretty, pretty crowded over here. I think what we can do, uh, just to make sure animal is hungry, Oh, well, that is not great at all. Okay, I gotta, gotta say, um, I think this might also be because of some keeper issues. Uh, so we're gonna employ another keeper. Well, that is uh, great. So let's go in here. So put two more keepers down, three more keepers. Awesome. And now I'm just going to see, oh God, have you seen, have you seen that? Like the situation over here is insane. Also, we're gonna employ a lot more caretakers. We have to, we have to just, do this. I mean, we have to up our game on that side. Um, you see that there is a lot of animal issues going on. The inspector is just gone, so we are not having too many issues here. Uh, all the animals are researched. That is great. So let's keep an eye on that one. So it's mostly the gazelles and that hungry animal. So the gazelles are mostly having... Yeah, well, look at that. This is just... This is just ridiculous. Um, Okay, how do we how do we how do we attack start? I think we are just starting with a do not disturb. Well, actually, I also have to uh, got turn on my AC again. I'm sorry for the background noise now, but I'm I'm not surviving this episode with, you know, having having it turned off. I just turned it off for the episode because that it would work, but no, I, I just figure now it doesn't work because simply that is uh, just the, the most crazy heat wave here we have this year. So it's, um, yeah, actually a bit of an issue. Also, I would love to be able to repaint that. You know what we will do? Um, I, actually, this will take away a little bit of the space for the animals. But I think what we can do, um, we can put a barrier in, you know. I think this is not taking too much space away and would hopefully help making, making the area a bit more nice. So just putting that one down here. And the other one just uh, waving around here, something like that, you know? And then we're just going to pull that high up. And then, uh, you know what we do? I, I think it would be nice to just make it a brick wall. I'm just gonna turn that into a brick wall too. And then we're just going to create a one-way glass window, which is the other way around. The same goes for that one. Just create a window one way and the other way around. There you go. And I think that would be cool because still the people should be able to see the animals, but they should have way less stress now. Um, I've got to say, I think that should be good. So this one is still stressed. You're telling me it's still, no, it's not stressed. Okay. Well, actually also we're having a bit too much uh, space issues in here. Let's have a quick look how many animals are in. So we've got a lot of baby animals, a lot of, a lot of gazelles in here. Um, the problem is they, <laughs> Pumba just, uh, oh, she died, yeah, well, okay, problem is just solving itself right now. Um, so in, in a bit we will have some more space. It's just taking a last run because we've, before it's gonna leave us. Um, there you go. Farachi just uh, completely fell over. I'm just also waiting until um, they will naturally will pass away now because the thing is, yeah, yeah, I did this already. Uh, the thing is, I have to repopulate that a little bit and also have to rethink this habitat because it's it's a bit of a pain in the ass right now. Um, because it's just like in the middle of, of the center of the of the zoo and I'm thinking of making this like a bit more of an valuable entrance area and just kind of changing this habitat a little bit later on. But well, I think, you know, I think we, we should be good. Um, what's thinking about this person here is still... Okay, so, um, yeah, well, I, I think that should be an easy fix here. 
yeah well we're just gonna go and send them to the trade center there you go you can leave the zoo now because animal problems are solved there you go people are feeling exciting and uh, excited and happy education is not like super well but um i think that's fine gonna sell those two quick trade confirm also can we just have a little look um onto our zoo in general regarding the animals and i just want to see the uh, uh, can i yeah i can actually that is that's easy so see that's what i wanted to do just to make sure that we have this so ria and dommel still doing an insanely good job um well where's ria oh did i sell ria Let, let's keep ravena then i guess oh when did i sell ria how and why did I do this? I'm a bad person. Um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it again. Don't worry. I got your back. I'm, I got your back. I got your back. Where's, where's, where's Ria? Uh, 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 uh. That's gonna be Ria again. Was it Ria? I'm not even sure. I think Ria and Dommel were the two. But I think, okay, so the protester is going to leave, which is, uh, which is great. So I'm gonna quick trade some more money for us. But money is doing extremely well. And therefore, I'm also thinking of making... Yeah, you know what? Okay, we go full throttle. Okay, we go full throttle one more time, guys. And then uh, next time, we will do like a smaller habitat-ish here and maybe here. But what we're doing right now is we're going to put a lion habitat just in this area. The reason why I'm putting that here is to just hopefully drag a few more people around here um, to, to make sure that this is not like as crowded over here as it is right now. Um, just to guide people a bit more into the zoo. And so we have some more exciting animals here and here. I think that could be cool. Um, and so let's just pause the game real quick. We are seven minutes into the episode. All right, so first of all, I, I wanna have, okay, so the first thing we are doing the first thing we are doing right now is we are going to um, put down a new little hub for uh, keepers and so on. You know, first of all, let's have a look where the power. Yeah, see, that's that's the good bit. Um, let's just kind of paint what this area of the line should be. Again, we will go to the to the absolute minimum that the animals require, simply because um, this is a city zoo, as I uh, said multiple times now. Okay, I want to make this also like not another area maybe for a habitat we do have. Okay, so this time I do want to make sure that these hubs I'm creating are a bit more helpful for some more areas. So maybe I'm going to extend that a little bit to here. I'm just painting that for myself right now. So the hub can be here. Okay, so I'm just going to put this down, not looking too much into it. And then we have to reduce the pace of extension uh, a little bit next time. Um, so let me just have a look. I, I'm gonna put this a, f a fair bit further into this area. So I'm gonna put this here. And then uh, what I will do as well is some water refurbishment system. Um, so we do have the pathway in the middle, right? So yeah, we can actually we can actually be very, uh, where is that, there you go. Um, easy on that one. I'm gonna leave two as a gap. Oh no, you know what? We are in a city zoo. We're gonna save some we're gonna save some space, okay? So let's go back to staff facilities, turn off the blueprints, turn off the overlay. Um and then oops, I I should have I should have just stayed in the building, I guess. Um there you go, still in the building. You know what we do? We will actually put down a um quarantine. I'm just gonna go with the small one first. Just uh what am I even doing? Goes here. And what else don't we have? We don't have a workshop right now. Well, then you got to get a workshop. This is going to be placed here. And then we are going to have this time, I'm going to put like a large keeper hut down, which goes here. Yes. And then I'm going to put also like a large staff room, which goes, uh, yeah, it goes there. I'm thinking of maybe one more research lab. Yeah, so this is going to be like a huge central little station for our people, uh, which we're going to to connect right now. Um, yeah, it's, uh, well, let's just take that ground pattern. I'm just going to change that later on again, but uh, for the moment, that should be all good. Uh, yep, connect that, and then we're just going to do this. Yes, yes, indeed, just gonna go that route. I, I slowly figured out how to 
connect these uh, pathways here uh, a little bit better, but um, it's still very confusing to me how how to how to connect all these paths uh, with like I don't know you know it's it's all a little bit of a finicky thing because they seem not to be on a grid which I still don't know why on earth they did this um, as you can clearly tell from from here if I'm just going to put this down you have this little bit of a wobble in there you know uh, I'm just going to show you. Um, you can actually see that pretty nicely over here. So there's this little gap. This one is a bit nicer, but it's still not perfect. And just having this little bit of a gap everywhere. So you see that here. I don't know why it's so offset. Um, it should actually be better, but it's um, because it, it should be on a grid, but it's somehow not. Um, so I'm, I'm also just taking a look that I have this path already pretty much in place. Uh, to build my zoo around that uh, because again I want to keep this like fairly fairly nice as a city zoo as I said um, just to make sure that this is really using the space as best as it can and at the moment we're already expanding quite significantly I want to have something very unique in here so if you guys want to provide some more stuff uh, we definitely need to have something very unique in this area I'm not sure what we could do I have a certain idea in my mind but this is also a little bit dependent on what Frontier is going to do next with us so I have something in my mind as I said but you never know what they're up to. So um, if this happens in the next couple of weeks, I am very confident that we can do this. Um, but yeah, we will have to see. Okay, so we're just going to do the easy stuff here. Uh, I'm going to put like a brick wall around uh, just to make sure that this is somewhat uh, like a little bit of a nicer uh, venue for the staff members, you know, just kind of creating something more spacious and open this time. Uh, I'm gonna give there's a nice little touch and then, you know, just uh, keeping this close to this side. I don't care too much about the windows on the back side, to be honest. Not too many windows for you guys today. Um, and then, well, actually, to the inside, we, we could use some of them. Uh, just putting a wall here. Yeah, there goes another, there goes another, there goes another. Same goes here. Look at that window. We're just going to keep that one open. I love the door. Why did I? Ah, oh, whatever. So just gonna put this here. Uh, See, so yeah, I forgot the walls on the other side, but that's not too much of a big deal. Just gonna put another one here. Just copy it to the other side. One, a two, a one, two, three. Wow, I still managed to put that in the wrong position. Me stupid, me stupid. Come on, I put uh, like a little window here, like a little window here. You, you know what we could also do? We just, you know, at least open up at at one side of the window. No, actually. Both sides, I guess. Is there like another window here? The quarantine has none. I also still don't get why they didn't do. I mean, I somehow get why they didn't do the quarantine. I mean, it's not like super exciting to have like something in the quarantine. I don't. What, what would we even. I don't even know what would in, be in there. But guys, if you have an idea, what would be into in a quarantine? Like, if they have designed the interior of all these things, why didn't they do like the quarantine? What would be in there? I mean, they also have the vet surgery, so you could have just done like a like a room with a lot of these kind of water um, things where you can, you know, um, use the, uh, how's that called, uh, sanitizer stuff or whatnot. I don't know. Uh, that would be, I think that would be useful. Anyways, let's go into uh, my blueprints. And there are like some very good, holy moly macaroni. This is like the garden set. How expensive it get exactly? Jesus. But this is like so city zoo. It's like almost as big as my zoo. Oh my God. Okay, um, <laughs> I was just looking if there's anything I can use for my uh, for my habitat here, and I'm, I'm fairly sure that since we do have all the money, I will finally use this insanely well-made thing from Haribo, which is this crazy, there you go, this big netting tent. This is something I want to use for my lion habitat. This is going to be the, this is going to be the lion habitat uh, element. Oh yes, boy, I love it. That will be, that will be the, the, the thing yes this boys and girls this is it this will be nuts there you go uh, we're gonna have to figure out how we do the how we do the wall around it like I'm my biggest issue here is that I don't really want to do like all the ditches all the time but somehow you do need to do ditches because that is the only way of doing it like the zoo <sighs> I'm like so split on that you know also, that is like an insanely nice uh, restaurant area. And since we don't have anything over here, you know what? We'll just go throw swirl and put that, that down. Um, 
gonna put this down here. Is this like hide me? Yeah, there you go. Um, show me, hide me. Okay, yeah, that is what you wanna do. And then I'm just going to, going to put that here. Something like that. And then show me, hide me, whatever. Just gonna delete these two things. And we're going to tackle that later. We, we paused the game anyway, so that should be fine. Also, let's do the path work first, because otherwise I'm I'm just going to fail again. Uh, what I'm just doing, because there's like water in, right? Okay, it's just taking too much time now. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of the, the water. Oh, I, I can't fill it in. Oh, wait, is there maybe an animal too close? I assume this might be because of that animal, right? Or because of all the animals or because of the pet? I don't care too much. Uh, right now, I just have to... Okay, that works. So we're going to connect this here. And then if that somehow would connect over here, that is awesome. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a bit nicer if I do it that way. And then we're just going to, you know, lay the path around here like this. I want to have these things still on a bit of... Yeah, that might be nice. So we are just going to have these uh, footers on these sides here, you know, um, that the ditch is like going a little bit differently though. And then, you know, that's what we do. We just do this quickly. Like we are 60 minutes in, which is a good timing. Uh, before we do though, we just finish up this path thing over here. So let's, uh, let's give that like a little bit of a gravel path in between, you know, just, just connecting this with like some, ah, okay, got it. So that was the only possible connection we have over here uh welp so this doesn't matter too much we could just go yeah well i just keep it that way and then um we're using this one so long i guess i mean it's not too big of a deal because they go here for the gorilla so i'm i'm fairly fine with having this because i want them to root yeah that, i think this is a good idea i think that is a good idea guys because this will root the people into the right direction um cool let's quickly Let's quickly paint some smooth rock down here just to get rid of the uh, the grass, whatever. And then we can also just do the pathing real quick. I think it should be like self explanatory uh, Like this, 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 boom. A boom, Baba. And just gonna follow that. Yeah, that is uh, super easy. And the cool thing is I saw what you did here. So we are just going to do this like a Q and then you're just going to put the Q thing here and just do the same again, the Q here, there you go. And now we just use the path, boom, connect, all done. Awesome, love it. Just gonna, this is like super easy of an assembly. I'm not even sure like we do not have any sort of staff room over here. I'm, look, you know, I, I think, I think, the, oh well, that actually is smart. You know, we do have a staff room feeding station. Well, that makes that makes perfect sense to me to just use that, like, you know, just connect this. That is like, for whoever made that, that is incredible amount of thought that went into here. So I got to love it. Yeah, no, that is that is amazing. I even love, love that, you know, the only thing I don't love is, you know, look, I'm, I'm going to put this to the side so it's not as incredible when they just run over it. <laughs> but I love it. It's so cool. I love that. So it's actually connected. We have a staff room. It's all perfectly fine in, in one one assembly area. Okay, so now we have done most of the ditches things we've always done with bright concrete. You know what we do this time? We use a sole brick piece, okay? So we're going to use brick this time. The only, the only way um, or the only area I'm not going to use brick though is the... Uh, the ground area. Uh, I hope that this will be better. But I think this way it could actually look kind of cool. So what we are going to do, we build this thing first and then um, we are building, oops, uh, we are building like something roundish, you know. I think that will potentially look kind of cool because we do not really have something like that done yet. So we're just going to, actually we have something thinner in here as well, right? Well, no, it's that one, yeah. That makes this look hopefully even smoother. There you go. So look, look, this will be, this will be done a little ditch thing. And I think that could actually look really cool if we do this. Um, because then it, it is not all like too repetitive, you know? So get it done like so. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And then um, we are just going to 
move that a tad bit further in so it's gonna be smoothed out with some some rock and stuff uh, we are in one building right is that like a building i'm gonna extract that from any kind of building we are in i don't care uh, this is like is that like perfectly straight i'm not sure though but uh, we're just going to copy that over so this will be like a fairly tiny ditch you know um one thing we have to do though is we have to make sure it's almost like the same height we can actually go a bit higher here so it's just gonna pull that one here and then the other one goes in it can actually lean a little bit outwards why not and so this will be then our little area which is next to this bit here and just to make sure that we have like a nice boundary we will feature that bit in here it can actually be a bit higher why not and then uh, we will just use a normal piece of fence uh, is there it, it can actually be this one like why not because we Maybe we can use some glass in there to make it look a bit more interesting, but still, I think that is the that is the piece needed um, because uh, you know you just can't jump over, and that should be enough. Uh, let's kind of look into what is going on with some glass. I should at some point release all these ditches because these ditches are like so incredibly helpful to build in this game anyway so maybe i'm going to release a kind of ditch pack at some point by the way speaking of packs um i don't know how and you know if, if you guys have seen my blueprint video yesterday but in case you want to check it out you can do so it's somewhere in the links i provided in this video yeah just put the glass here and then just double that one um, and also, one thing I forgot, if you guys want to catch me live today, I will be live streaming, um, I guess Summer Lake? I think it's gonna be Summer Lake, I'm not sure, I, I'm recording this a, a little bit ahead of, um, a little bit ahead of uh, Tuesday, <laughs> so I have pre-recorded a lot from the weekend, so it's actually weekend, um, for me right now, for you it's not, potentially. Uh, uh, you know, however, it might you, you watch that next weekend to catch up, then happy weekend, what I'm even saying. Um, never mind, guys. So, the beautiful thing is that uh, we are live streaming tonight, and I would love to welcome all of you guys there. I told you in some of the recent episodes that I am looking so much more into streaming lately, and I would love to welcome all of you on that channel too. As I already mentioned a few times, I really, you know, I can't really say it too much the name of it and you know uh, simply because that platform doesn't really like it and youtube doesn't like it either so in case you want to follow me just jump down in the description there is a link to my live stream platform without actually naming it um and you can just follow that link and then we'll see each other there uh, you get the notification just as on on youtube it's not as annoying because i'm not streaming that often as you see some of your videos so it's a bit tad bit more uh, relaxing hopefully for you um, but yeah, that's that's already all um, I want to say about this um, because I don't want to, you know, an annoy you too much with it with this topic. So actually, look at how much we have to pull it outwards. Uh, it's fine though, but yeah. Um, but you know, I'm I'm gonna repeat that at the end of this episode anyhow. So uh, yeah, you will potentially remember anyways. Uh, but I will also maybe I'm even going to make like a first first comment to the video, and you know that will also will also be me being first finally on my own video because even though i'm just there to to comment on the videos i'm never first because you guys are just like lightning stellar fast whenever i'm coming to my videos it's like first and i'm like how because i just hit the i just hit the live button and i'm i'm about to answer some comments i put some info in and there are like always some comments already it's just ridiculous it is just ridiculous guys okay so we are 23 minutes in and um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go very quick with this build here and then uh, we are going to get the lines already. Also, I'm not really following what I'm doing, right? I'm, I'm just talking and I'm not even concentrating. Rudy, stop being, uh, oops, wrong button. <laughs> what are you even doing? What am I even doing? Yeah, there's some, some stuff happening here. You know, let's just do this. And it's actually not as much tilted. You know what I do? I think I'm just going to use two. And just very slightly get a bit of tilt in here. You know, just like that. And then we can basically use this one. And just wobble it a bit more in here. You know, that's nice. And now we just take a single one again. And we're going to bring this rotation back. But at least, you know... So I could be a bit more 
a bit more lazy on that side. Um, okay, it's, it's gonna be interesting to see that I can do this without too many overlaps here, but I think it, it just works fine. And it finally gives us a bit of a different ditch. Uh, I hope you guys love it um, because this, I, I almost felt bad always doing the same kind of little water features and this time we just don't have one. I mean, the lions, you know, in this game they like to swim, but in general, real lions don't really swim that often. So we don't even need to give them water feature whatsoever. Um, and therefore I'm just not doing it, you know. This is just going to be empty and we're going to put some plants in. Mike would be happy and then uh, everyone is just happy ever after, I guess. Uh, because that should be, that should be all. Okay, just gonna pull this one over, pretty simply like so. And I'm going to figure out what kind of boundary I'm doing here. Um, God, this will be, this will be taking ages here. I'm just gonna do a little cut and then I'll be back after I've done that. I'm, I'm not doing more than this, okay? I'm just going to do the little cut just to make this work. And so the episode is at least a tiny bit shorter. That's about it. All right, back we are. That went uh, a little bit quicker than I thought. It was just like a three to four minute thing. Um, but yeah, so just going to, just going to bring in last little bits of, uh, terrain here so that this kind of looks uh, almost like uh, finished and you know just nice even though uh, it's it's kind of a bit of a pain to make it look smooth but uh, yeah just just going to do it that way almost like if there's a little bit of soil hanging over you know that's kind of kind of the little fun part and then you can see um, that these outer things are perfectly fine they just uh, feel to be in the right position however I'm just going to to use that Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 just column piece over here to, um, you know, just uh, make sure that these are on the right position. And we're just going to move that like into a position that it actually makes sense so that it would be, well, why is that deeper or uh, whatever? So to make Ali more happy, I guess. But yeah, so this is where it belongs. And then you're just going to put this one in here as well. That one is sticking out a little bit more further. Okay, that's great. That's great, guys. Let's see if there's anything you guys provided we could use as a shelter. If there's anything I'm really uh, using a lot and I uh, something I do need even more from you guys, this is definitely some shelters. Um, I'm, I'm having a heavy lack on, on pre-made shelters. I know that there's like a big building that could act like a shelter, which is... Uh, huh, where is it again? I remember there was one bigger building in here. There you go. This is the animal shelter big, which is uh, quite big though. I mean, let's have a look inside. So there we go. Now we are talking. So in fact, that already acts like a tunnel, which is kind of cool. Um, the only thing is, I, th I think I don't want the guest to be there, but I think it's pretty fine. I think it's pretty fine if the keepers can go there. So I'm, I'm, I'm not like too worried about it, you know, just pulling that one a little bit further out so that this kind of roof section, we will actually move that into one building. That is pretty cool because that like is exactly what we needed. Um, let's move that a little bit further down because we don't have the restraints to be four meters high here. It's just going to go a lot more down. There you go. This is awesome. Um, and then we are just going to take exactly this wall and well put that back into this position because then we just have that open mold for the keepers. They can already see how their lions are doing. Um, and yeah, you, you, you guessed it. I will obviously redo a little bit of the path thing just to make that little bit better looking and stuff, you know. Is there Okay, there's there's no need. I mean, I I mean I could like guide the people in here, but I think there's no particular reason. Sometimes you gotta have these backstage areas for your um, staff members only. You know that I also want to have like the entrance to the habitat here somewhere. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be exactly in this area. Wait, let me just delete this one and connect this. Yeah, that is awesome. So if I see that. Um, I think it's just cool to put the entrance here to the to the habitat, okay? So we are just going to pull that one, the habitat gate. Just gonna put this exactly in between here. There you go. This is what I'm talking about, okay? Um, and then we basically only need this bit to be very much shorter. Just gonna move this uh, here. For whatever reason it works. I'm not complaining. Um, and then we're just going to wait. See, that is the reason why I was confused. 
Um, but I... It should... Are you kidding me now? Like, I mean, yeah. Well, that, that works. I assumed it would. Um, can I just... Wait, no. Can I move that back into... Okay, for whatever weird reason that works. So now it... Okay, well, actually... Actually, that's just fine. Um, and I'm... Yeah, I'm going to extend that over here. And then let me just pull that back in here. And I'm just going to create like a glass barrier in here in the middle. It doesn't work. So what about now? Glass barrier. Are we friends? We are friends. Yes, we are friends. Awesome. Let's pull that back into this area. And then, yeah, just so it works. I don't know. That works. That's fine. Okay, let's pull that back a little bit so it's at least the same. Cool. Look at that. And then we already have like a fairly big habitat here. So let's just use this one. Uh, I'm just going to raise it all to the top here because I know that they, they love to jump. So we're just going to increase the length of that one. And we're just going to have like a wobbly little wall that goes all around here. And then it just goes exactly into this area. And I'm just going to follow the curve. There you go. And we're just going to bring that to here so that it kind of connects to the fence lovely stuff cool let's just go from the other side um let me erase that one here and raise that one so like this and then we're just going to use this 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 kind of wall i'm like too lazy to do anything else you know um uh, talking of being lazy though just gonna bring this somewhat back like to here and then just straighten the wall there we go. And just gonna pull this. Yeah, no, no, somewhat like that. Yeah, 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 exactly like this. Cool. Now, the only thing we have to do now is to bring some uh, lovely barriers around, I guess. For the reason that didn't work, but I'm I'm not too worried. Okay, cool. So we have the habitat. Oh, um, actually, this looks <laughs> so, oops, so much better than I ever expected at the beginning of the. I mean, you will have seen you will have seen the uh, the thumbnail potentially, but oh my lord, this looks so much better. Also, now as I know which kind of roof we use, let's just kind of quickly do this. I'm uh, going to go for the copper one, and I remember. Okay, this 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 thing is going to be pretty prominent on here. Uh, as soon as I've done the rest of the. <laughs> This one's also kind of great. So you know what? Uh, let's just pull that one in the middle here like this. And then kind of see that we... Nope, there's not the... That's the right one. So... Wait, is that even connected? Yeah, it is. Right, lovely. Also want to have this like overhanging a little. Like so, I guess. I'm not sure if that will hinder the lines too much. But you know, I'm... Uh, okay, let's just copy that one. Awesome. And then we are just going to copy this one into the positions we need it. Uh, look at that wonderful roof. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Oops, that is not right. Nope, still not. And just going to do it that way and that way and that way. Not overhanging too much, but it's okay. And now let's just type in brick. Brickety brickety, and I think, I think, <laughs> which is my, my voice king, just kind of moved upwards so weirdly. Yeah, I'm gonna put that. This is kind of cool that this fits in so nicely. Uh, is there like a, yeah, this one. There you go. Uh, pretty sure we need this one here and there. And then we will need this one there and there. And there, I'm just gonna... One of these rare occasions where Mr. Rudy is using the pieces exactly the way they are meant to be used. So mark that into your calendars. It's not gonna happen too often anymore. Uh, but yeah, so this is kind of the little thing we did. One thing I'm, I'm really not... I'm really not a big fan of is having no windows or whatsoever. So what we're just going to do... I'm just going to go to the windows and doors and stuff and, you know, just taking the classic window. I mean, uh, whoops, I mean, just having those in here, pretending that there is something going on, you know, that is the, the only thing we can do and we will do, as you can see, because I, f I feel like this, this has to be done. Um, wait, where's that piece? Yeah, there you go. See, the, the cool bit is also you can 
just use it like so have a bit of a roundish window in here so just make it a bit more exciting to look at you know otherwise that would be like so super boring it's going to use another one here and then we can use the brick kind of window just in here and those things because otherwise it's like i mean i like that it's so barely simple you know but yeah it kind of makes the things already look a bit better we could also put like a chimney on top if if there is any i think there is yeah, chimney, chim, chimney, chim, chim, chorichi. Uh, there you go. Just some Disney weird m music, you know, sing counter one in this video. Um, shot and sarcastic would say. Uh, let's put that one down here. All right, cool, done. Guys, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can find uh, a lion already. Do we have one in our storage? Yes, we do. Look at these. There, we do have. Uh, a data and we have um, the baby but the baby is nearly awesome the, the, the baby is nearly living so that uh, living it is living though but it's nearly mature that's what I wanted to say lovely gold two golden ones that is uh, better than you could ever dream of now we are going to employ another keeper which is going to take care of these two uh, of this habitat over here so this is going to be your lion Habitat. There you go. This is done. And before we do anything else, um, I think we have. Yeah, they're just. Are they just all jumping out? Yeah, they are. Well, you guys will definitely get a work zone pretty quickly here as well. So this is going to be um, restaurant lion corner, I guess uh, should be the name. Okay, you're working there. Uh, just as a fr friend here is. Um, this is going to be. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. Restaurant Lion Corner. Isn't there like... A, oh, that sounded like Mickey Mouse. Weirdly like Mickey Mouse. Um, let's see if that just laugh comes back again. It's a little bit like Mickey Mouse though. Okay, but that's that's done too. Um, now let's hit play. Because there are no animals. Animal has... Which, which, which animal has... Is it... Where are you? I can't even... Oh, it's back. It's back in. Okay, well, how about your... Is there any ways where you can ex escape? Jew. Jew, jew, jew. Animal has escaped. Find... Wait, 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 where? Oh. Yeah, no. See you later then. But... Oh, over the roof. How do you get there? Is there, like, somewhere through here? It's like... Is, are they just bugging over there, maybe? I don't know if that's... Uh, Seems to be... Yeah, that's definitely a thing. That is definitely a thing, as you can see. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Okay, never mind. Um, we are just going to put like a like a little bit of a wall here, and that should then be fine. I haven't seen... I haven't seen that one coming, but it's okay. Let's just uh, use fence, whatever, and then we're just going to put this one down. I guess that should help. Let's have a look if that already helps. I mean, well, how? Wait, no, 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 you didn't escape, right? Did you? What is the, oh, well, this is not, you're just coming back, right? Okay, but anyways, we need to just somehow make sure that this doesn't happen again. So I'm just going to put this in front of the window. I'm just hoping that this prevents them from doing that again. Now let's keep let's keep that there and just hope that this works. Uh, facility without power. Oh well. Whoa. Whoa. That placement of power was uh, not powerful, I guess. Uh, this is not too big of a deal, right? Um, we are. Oh wait, wait, wait. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Okay. So we are just going to put like a power block in the back here. That's fine. Uh, just power. It's going to be here. There you go. There's a lot of scenery going on, so it's going to make the effect less less uh, ugly for the people, I guess. Just going to connect that here. Awesome. There you go. Unpause the game. There is energy. And this is the lion habitat, guys. Look at this. And there are our friends already in. Let's have a quick look. Um, good. Okay, let's pause the game quickly. Adela is more or less happy. Uh, Adaya, Adaya, not Adele. I, I was like thinking of the singer, um, but it's okay. Okay, so this is um, 
this is good. Like grass short is is big deal. Um, so, I mean, it also is already pretty pretty boring in terms of height differences. So that's something we are just going to look at in a bit. Um, there's still too much soil. Is there something? Yeah, too less sand, which is kind of cool because I like some sand in my habitats. I am not the chosen one, so I can do whatever I want with it. Um, we can have some long grass, which I'm also quite happy with. Um, also, let's just pull up some stuff and, and use uh, use select it. So it's going to pull some. Okay, this might be a bit too too much here. So just going to do... Don't worry about this too much, guys. I'm going to put some rock in in, in, in no time. So uh, just go in here and have some... Have some rock we are going to paint here to the sides, just to make sure it kind of looks a bit more interesting here and there, you know? Just having some kind of stuff here where the fooders are anyways, to kind of highlight them a bit more. There you go. Have them all over here, cool. And then we're just going to have some some more rock here in the, in the end as well. And then definitely we just go in here and, and just fill that in with a whole bunch of rock uh, hopefully until they are happy with it uh, which okay still is a bit of a pain um, so what about just is that affecting it not, not too much though we can just go all the way here and put some rock in but 17% just doing some more rock here in the back come on get green get green there you go lovely stuff okay so we're gonna have this green there's still so much soil in here I'm not, not really seeing that but anyways okay we've done that okay so environment plants is um yeah grassland africa let's see if we can find anything what we can use for our zoo uh continent is africa property is non uh, grassland grassland africa i mean yes we have this tree we've we've used that already plenty of times but I'm, I'm still like a big fan of this one because i think that would be easily growing over here um and so just have another one below i think that kind of looks cool to put that like on this little hill here there you go and then uh we can we can have some of the grass stuff here and there you know just to make that look a bit nicer something like that and then well we don't have that tree potentially we just get another yeah just in the back you know just to give this a bit more kind of context I think I like the I, I like the word in context here, um, but yeah. So let's put that one in. Hope that this is not too much for them. Let's have a look. Plant wise, we are well. We are safe actually to put more in. Well then, if you if you say that, here's me using that. You know, I'm not sure if I put that down here. If 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 this is going to be uh, creating some area for them to jump out. I'm, I'm hoping it's, it's not, um, because sometimes these things act weird. Uh, we could have like more of this stuff in here as some, some little patches, like just make them just grow around these fooders, I guess. Uh, there you go. And then also here, I don't know. So that kind of looks cool already, I guess. Um, let's have a little bit unpausing the whole situation, and then I'm just going to see traversable area. Okay, so elephant grass is not really making any issues here. Cool. Let's get into the enrichment. Okay, so let's go to habitat and say lie. Oops, lion. Um, and it's gonna get this. Uh, the ball enrichment is definitely in here as well. And then we will get like some some extra large sleeping stuff, which is going to be inside. Obviously, they're happy about this. Hopefully, and then uh, get. Yeah, Kind of, it is a big cat, so it's gonna have a card box tool. Uh, the scratch pose definitely goes like all the way in the front here. I want them to be scratching just right in front of the people, and then we gotta give them some other cool stuff here. And then what we also, yeah, well, they need to drink, so gonna put them a pipe here in the middle. And then, is there anything else we can give them? Like, I want to give them a sprinkler because um, this might also be kind of a cool thing to guide them forward. But again, just making that appearing or disappearing a bit better in here so there you go put that down um yeah unpause i think yeah we are ready guys this is it i want to call that episode already a day um i will do all the other stuff now in between here putting like the benches and all that kind of stuff in but holy moly look at that lion habitat guys i am i am in shock how well this just worked and i think i mean we have to give props to haribo for this um 
incredible structure, netting structure. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, I have no words for it. Like the sheer amount of, of ropes that was used to create that and, and the accuracy he has done that with. Like I'm, I'm quite sure he did like one one corner and then just use the copy around, like the copy trick, but still it just, I don't know, it, it blows me out of the way. Like it's, I, I mean, okay, that one is also like purely copy and then just tilt that. Okay, this is how I would do it anyways. And then, but like filling in those gaps, my goodness me, that's just insane. I mean, I'm quite sure that he just did this middle piece and then just like tilted it to all of the sides and then just filled in one side and then copied it around but you know that's not that's not like it, it should not be like an explanation of of uh, why it should be easy it's not it's definitely not it's insane it's just nuts also which pieces did you use it's like bamboo oh my lord no you just didn't do that did you oh i hate you this is where my piece count goes down this is where like <laughs> why though haribo why why are you doing this to me my goodness me. Okay, I, I got I gotcha. I mean, this is what you do. You just refuse to use less pieces. I get this, but still. Anyways, guys, I really hope it was a blast for you. It was certainly a blast for me. I hope you guys are as excited as I am now for the live stream. I'll be live streaming tonight. So in case you want to catch me, the link is in the description down below or in the first comment. I mean, just do it, whatever. But in case you haven't uh, seen that yet, make sure to come over and have some fun. We're going to have some fun time building. You can, you know, can have some cool stuff. We can have some animals named after you and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, just come over with some fun. And until then, have a when it's time for me to go. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Goodbye, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I was really happy to have you here. In case you enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to consider subscribing. You can do it via this button here. And if you want to see more, uh, there's some cool other stuff linked here for you. This is suggested for you personally. That's pretty cool. And in case you want to support the channel a tiny bit more, you can do it via this wonderful Hype Camel link over here. I really would appreciate it. And also, big thank you already to all the people who do already support the channel. Really do appreciate that. But now, have a wonderful time, guys and I catch you in the next one.